Guess what today is? Collection time! We're gonna go collect for my three vending machines. That's right. I only got three, but let's see how much money we make today. This is what I want you to do. Guess how much money I made in my vending machine business this month. Go ahead, guess, guess. Let's go to the first location. So let's go collect. I actually forgot my keys at home yesterday. So uh, it's a brand new day. Let's go check up on the machines. I got my cleaning products. I got my glove. I got my inventory and let's collect. <laughs> Aquí está su comisión, cinco dólares en coras. Y también le quería invitar un grupo de Facebook que yo hice. Este grupo es donde yo ayudo a los negocios que me están ayudando a tomar fotos, a ponerlo en Facebook. Dang man, forty-eight dollars and forty-nine cents. I paid the location five dollars for the commission. After cost of the products, this is how much I made profit. Of course, at the end of this, I'm gonna tell you how much I drove. So I could tell you how much gas, because I know how you guys are. But Reyes, what about the gas, Reyes? The gas! <laughs> Anyways, though, this machine I got from eBay, horrible. Two of the flaps came off again. The quarters got jammed in the M&Ms and in the Bouncy Boss. So you couldn't turn it in the Bouncy Boss because other quarters were stuck in the mechanism. I'm gonna have to switch it out, man. It's giving me too much of a headache. And lesson learned, but let's go to my other location. Oh, oh, watch out. What are you guys doing? Rearranging stuff? Oh. Hey, uh, I wanted to invite you to this Facebook group I started. What a day. The gumball mechanism wasn't turning. I opened it up and there was a lot of coins stuck in there. So I'm thinking, this has to be the problem. Took everything out, I tried twisting it again. There was something else going on. So I had to literally take it apart. There was a piece of tape stopping the mechanism from turning. You believe that? Oh my gosh, but I'm so grateful that when I got the machines, I actually took everything apart and put it back together because that knowledge and experience, man, I could really been stressing out today. But luckily everything worked. I made $37.25. It could have been more with the gumballs, man. Oh, that's disappointing. And when I left, I told the owner, hey, I'm sorry, because I do apologize because it's been a whole month. And there was no orders for the gum boss. That means as soon as I collected last time, it messed up and I should have checked, I should have came back. And it's a small town, it wouldn't have took me more than five minutes to just come and check it. <sighs> Lesson learned, man, that's how you learn. Let's go to my last location, hopefully. I don't have a headache with this one. All right. What's up, Leo? Let's check it. Let me test the machine first. We want seven to 10 M&Ms. Oh, that's cool.
Alright, that's cool. <sighs> now, let's check the money. Cross your fingers. Why does my only good machine have to be in my slowest location, man? Moment or two. Wow, wow. Let me let me just leave that back now. Oh my gosh. Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars. So after I get my commission of $1.25, take away how much each candy costs, which is about seven, eight cents per transaction. Man, sucks, bro. Like, to be honest, there was a slow month. January is a slow month for a lot of businesses, but hey, at least I made something. This is how much I made, take away the commission and the cost of candy, this profit. Going to the three locations, I live in a small town. You know, this is how much I drove. Let's just say I spent five dollars on gas because I know how you guys are about the gas. What about the gas, Reyes? The gas, Reyes. Let's just say I spent five dollars. I highly doubt it. But five dollars, this is how much I made profit. I started like at 2 p.m. It's a uh, 3.34. I worked an hour and a half. You know what? I'm not telling you this so you could go out there and get your vending machine. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I mean, but I can't complain though. I mean, I'm making profit working one day a month, but I am gonna come check the machines at least once every two weeks. That's it. Next video, I'm gonna try finding locations for my candy machines, my gumball machines, all the machines I have in my apartment. It's time already. It's time. I don't know if you noticed, know these locations, I invited them to my Facebook group because I'm trying to get them more business. And that's gonna be my sales pitch to find more locations for my vending machines. We'll see how it goes. And before I let you go, let me show you where I got my candy machines, my gumball machines, my toy vending machines. That way you can see where to get one that fits your budget. We're gonna start with, somebody posted something on Facebook Marketplace, they were selling 48 of these. So I hit them up and I went to go drive, I actually made a video about it. Buying 48 toy vending machines, obviously I didn't buy 48, I was going to. But then the guy hit me up saying that uh, it was missing a piece. I'm like, wow, you waited till I came all the way over here, drove two hours with a thousand dollars in my pocket, ready to buy the vending machines. And when I get there, you tell me that you have the missing piece. But of course he promised me he was gonna go find the missing piece in the storage. Two weeks later, I hit him up. He said uh, he broke his arm. I wish him the best. But you know what? I got them for $20 each. And the little piece, they say it's easy to find. So there you go. This Gumba machine, this Gumba spiral machine, $75. How I got this one is I went to go put a vending machine in the location. And this is why it's important to talk to all the employees. Because I told the employee, hey, I'm trying to grow my vending machine. He goes, well, I actually have a Gumba machine in my garage. And I told him, you thinking of selling it? I'll buy it. He goes, nah, man, I'm going to find a location for it. I'm like, all right, cool, dude. Okay, okay, that's cool. Two months later, he hits me up saying, you still interested? 75 bucks. Of course, it's dirty, so I'm going to clean it before I take it out. But I don't think I could have passed up this deal right here. Now, let's talk about this one. Exact same thing. Actually, one of my Facebook friends tagged me on someone selling this in my town's page. 75 bucks, looks in great condition, almost ready to go, couldn't pass it up, $75. This is why it's very important to tell everybody you're trying to grow your business and you're looking for anybody that's selling gumba machines or candy machines or vending machines. Let them know you're looking to buy anything they have because you never know who's gonna offer you a deal. These two, boom, boom. $55 each. Like I said, I let everybody know I'm trying to grow my business and if they got vending machines for sale, I'm interested. A guy hit me up on Instagram and he's from my town too. He goes, hey, I got two vending machines 
he wanted 120. We talk, uh, he was willing to sell it to me for 110. $55, I tested them, they're good, they're ready to go, looking, just a quick wipe down, couldn't pass up that deal. Now the next machine I bought off eBay for $100, the Vanstar 3000, I actually did a Vanstar 3000 review, you could check it out. $100 a machine, brand new, but the thing is, almost everything is made out of plastic, and um, actually one of the locks broke when I was putting candy in it. Don't buy, in my personal opinion, buy it to get started if you can't afford and you can't find anything else. But, you can't rely on these machines. You can't. Last but not least, I bought these machines off their website. And in my personal opinion, if you can't find them cheaper on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, I bought this gumball machine for only $85. Looks beautiful, brand new. Oh man, I wish I would have found this spot sooner. I did a review on these two gumball machines, and if I can't find a deal, I'm gonna just buy new from this website, Gumball Warehouse. I have the link in the description below. They're cool people, man. I actually talked to them personal. Shout out to Kevin, and I mean, $85, and of course, they got. They got a whole bunch of things. They got gumbo machine, they got two head, they got three head, sticker machines. So go check them out and if you see something you like, buy it. I do make a small commission out of it and you do get a small discount if you use my affiliate links. And like I said, I'm not telling you your first choice should be brand new, but once you get started and you're serious about growing, buying new, is the only way to go if you can't find a deal on social media. And hopefully you have an idea of where to get cheap vending machines, cheap candy machines, cheap gumball machines. And hopefully I inspire you. Yes, I know I didn't make a lot of money this month, but hey, you saw how much I worked, how much I made? And imagine if I find locations for all of these, how much money do you think I'll be making a month? There's only one way to find out. Let's go get locations for my candy machine business. Let's go. Shout it, do it like this, do it like that, do it like this, shout it, do it like that.